yes good morning everyone i welcome you all back to my channel oh doctor this is your friend and brother dr osinana ajonoma all right if you are joining joining us for the first time i welcome you in a special way okay you already know what we do here we do nothing but to use the mistake of other people to educate you so that you learn from a mistake that has been made by someone else so that you don't repeat the mistake of others Today, I want to talk about what I tagged the malaria typhoid syndrome among Nigerians. The malaria typhoid syndrome among Nigerians. Yes, it is becoming worrisome. It is becoming worrisome. Please, if you watch this video, kindly help to share. Because we all need to talk about this. We need to talk about it. My question is, is malaria and typhoid the only disease we have in this in Nigeria? Why is it that any time you are sick, it is always doctor malaria and typhoid, malaria and typhoid? And why that unholy union? Are they together? Are they the same thing? Are they brothers? Are they sisters? Okay, I understand we live in a malaria endemic zone. In fact, 65 to 70 percent of the patients I see on a daily basis are uh, malaria patients. Fine. But why always saying, doctor, I have mal uh, malaria and typhoid? They are not brothers and sisters. They are not related. The causative organism are not the same thing. The theology is not the same thing. The treatment is not the same thing. Even the risk factors are not the same thing. Okay? Malaria is caused, is caused by a protozoan called plasmodium. Typhoid is caused by a bacterium called salmonella. Why typhoid is, you know, Got to, you can get typhoid by eating poorly prepared meal or you know untreated drinking water. You can only get malaria through mosquito bites. Okay, typhoid is treated with antibiotics, but malaria is treated with anti-malaria. You don't treat malaria with antibiotics. Someone was saying, "Doctor, I have been taking amoxicillin for two weeks now. This malaria is still there," and I was just laughing. Okay, so typhoid is not as common as we make it to be in Nigeria. I don't know. I don't know, like, you went to school, like, you are educated, and you you are you, you, you are wise enough that know that when your car has a problem, you call a mechanic. When your room your, your roof is leaking, you call a carpenter. When your phone falls inside water, you call a phone repairer. When your toilet has a problem, you call a plumber. Then when you develop headache, you, you become a doctor on your own. And when you are done wasting your money, you now come to the hospital and say, Doctor, there's no... How would there be money? There will be no money, of course, because you have wrongly spent it. And you have complicated it, and you have worsened it, and have increased the cost. That is just the normal... You know, that has been the story. So we need to talk about this. Someone died last month because of breast cancer because she was busy treating malaria and time for almost two months. The other one was a child of leukemia. They were busy treating this child of malaria and typhoid why the child had leukemia. The other one was a child that was having um, diarrhea and was almost dehydrated. They were busy treating um, malaria and typhoid in a 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 in a, a, a herbalist home. I don't just understand. I don't know. I don't know. What is that is our problem? There are hundreds of the meanwhile remember fever is not the same thing as malaria. Yes, doctor, I have to, I have to take fever. Yes, I, I think I have to take... What is fever? Fever means just high temperature. Your temperature is high. And there are hundreds of diseases that can make your temperature high. There are hundreds of diseases that can give you fever. So fever is not malaria. Fever is just one of the symptoms of malaria alongside symptoms, alongside the symptom of several diseases. Okay? So just don't be don't 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 be too these things are structured in such a way that there are people that it is their work. When you are sick, go to your doctor. If you don't trust your doctor, find the one that you, there's no way you must find the one that you trust and help yourself. Okay, so many lives have been lost simply due to ignorance. And that's why I'm making this video. Malaria and typhoid are not the only diseases there are. There are hundreds of diseases that, that, that in fact, even the Vidal test, which many of you do and say you have typhoid, is outdated. It is no longer diagnostic of typhoid fever. So apply your heart unto wisdom. Hmm? When you are sick, that time you just have headache. That's when the sickness will be freshly diagnosed. Present yourself to a doctor for you to be properly diagnosed 
and be properly treated. All this trial and error has not helped anybody, and I'm not sure it would ever help. Please, every time malaria and typhoid, malaria and typhoid, malaria and typhoid. And in, in almost in 95% of the cases, almost in 100% of the cases, there is no typhoid. Maybe in 65% of the cases, there may be malaria because malaria, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are dwelling, we are, we are swimming in malaria in Nigeria. So make your hey, why the sun shines, okay? All that fevers is not malaria. And malaria and typhoid are not the only diseases that are. So thank you very much for listening. I remember your friend and brother, old doctor. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are watching this video and you have the audience, please remember to help to disseminate the message. You might be saving someone today. Thank you for banking with us. Bye-bye.